A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Exit polls show far-right party leading in one German state election, nearly level with conservatives in another. A new party founded by a prominent leftist was also making an immediate impact, while the parties in Chancellor Olaf Scholz's unpopular national government were set for weak results. The exit polls for ARD and ZDF Public Television put support for Alternative for Germany, or AFD, at 30.5 to 33.5% in Thuringia and 31.5% in Saxony. They put the center-right Christian Democratic Union, the main opposition party at the national level, at 24.5% in Thuringia and 31.5 to 32% in Saxony. It's extremely unlikely that any other party will agree to put AFD in power by joining it in a coalition. Even so, its strength is likely to make forming new state governments extremely difficult. The strength of the new Sarah Wagonek Alliance, or BSW, which was seen taking up to 16% of the vote in Thuringia and 12% in Saxony, adds another level of complication. Alice Weidel, a national co-leader of AFD, called it a historic success and described the result as a requiem for Scholz's coalition. The CDU's National General Secretary, Karsten Linnemann, reiterated the party's refusal to work with AFD. Deep discontent with a national government notorious for infighting, anti-immigration sentiment, and skepticism toward German military aid for Ukraine are among the factors contributing to support for populist parties in the region. AFD's strength is notable in the formerly communist East, with the party's branches in Saxony and Thuringia under official surveillance for right-wing extremism. The leader of AFD in Thuringia, Bjorn Hock, has faced legal issues for using a Nazi slogan at political events. In another state election, Alternative for Germany won for the first time in the East and was projected to finish closely behind mainstream conservatives in a second vote. A new party founded by a prominent leftist also made an immediate impact, while Chancellor Olaf Scholz's national government parties obtained weak results. The rise of AFD and other populist parties reflects dissatisfaction with the current government's policies and performance. The upcoming national election in Germany will be closely watched following these state election results. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.